good morning. Today we are starting a two day trip and we are going to Grand Cayman uh, to start. We're gonna go down and back and then we're gonna head over to Raleigh-Durham, which is a short flight. So we got two long flights, just a quick there and back and then, I guess not terribly quick, but we got a long there and back and then we have a short flight to end the day. So should be a pretty good day. Um, don't end uh, too terribly late, I don't think. Um, and then we kind of do something similar tomorrow. So should be a good trip and uh, we'll see uh, if anything crazy or exciting happens. We'll, you'll be right there with us. So we'll see, who knows? It's always an adventure. drive around this parking lot until I can find some sort of an end location because uh, I don't want anybody parking right up close to my baby so this is the first time in over a year and a half that I have driven around this entire parking lot and there's not a single end spot in this whole lot which makes me sad. So, I'll drive around for another minute or two, but then I gotta get, gotta get into the airport. I gotta get signed in for my trip. So, maybe somebody will leave in the next few minutes. But, it makes me sad. So it is mid-morning. Found a spot. And you can see there's no cars around at the moment so hopefully it stays that way uh, we'll have to hope for the best um, but yeah every single in spot in this whole lot is taken so we do what we can to pre protect Veronica <laughs> but uh, yeah so wish Veronica luck let's go One down, two to go. No drama coming in. People were real easy, real nice. Uh, we served cheese lasagna, and there was one person who pre-ordered a fruit and cheese. And then we had, um, what else did we have? Oh, a Tex-Mex uh, salad, like a chicken, uh, grilled chicken on the side, grilled chicken salad, it was really good. Or it looked really good. I didn't. I didn't have it, but <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're head, about to head back. The cleaners are cleaning the plane, and uh, then we'll start to get boarded back up. The weather here is gorgeous. It makes me really sad that I can't go to the beach. Uh, I really want to come and just visit for fun. It uh, looks really nice here, so we'll have to make a point to do that at some point and sometime. But for now, I guess I'll just breathe the fresh air and imagine. <laughs> well, we always survived the turn. No more drama. Had a really fun couple in first class. They were blessed. Um, they were on their way to Kentucky. But uh, they were really sweet, cutting up with them, having a laugh. Um, it was good. It's always appreciated when you have a couple of nice people up there with you. Makes you feel like you know, you just like those real human connections, like they're just really special. So I really appreciated them tonight. Um, but now we just got one more flight to Raleigh. So we'll go ahead and get there. Hopefully it continues to be drama free. And then we'll pass out for the night. So far so good. 
So for me, working in first class, the first thing that you do when you get on board is you want to make sure that you are catered correctly. So you got all your wines and your alcohols and your soda pops and your juices and make sure you got everything sorted. And then on this flight, it's only 130 miles. You could drive there basically as long as it takes to taxi and board and fly and then taxi again and get to the gate and go through security. You might as well just drive from Charlotte to Raleigh. Um, but because it's such a short flight, um, all we have is like these little snack uh, packs, like the little, it's just like a little box of uh, trail mix basically. Um, so I've got that and I've got all my juices and everything. So we're all set to go. And uh, then you check your security equipment, make sure that all that is present and uh, make sure that none of it was used on the previous flight because of a medical emergency. And, stuff like that so I'm gonna go run and do all my checks and then we're gonna get ready to start board What's up, gang? We made it. Uh, it is 10.34, and I, uh, on my way to my room, I went ahead and stopped by the kitchen. I was like, can I go ahead and place an order so that when I come down in 10 minutes, are we ready? Yeah, sure. So, I got some shrimp and grits. I'm very excited about. Last time I had shrimp and grits, it was amazing. Um, it's kind of pricey here, but we get a good discount at the hotel, so that's nice. Um, that'll offset it a touch. And yeah, so I'm gonna change, and then I'll show you the dish before I devour it, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah. All right, I haven't even looked at it myself. Here's the unveil. Let's check it out. Oh, look at that. Looks freaking good, dude. Sausage, corn. There's some mussels. I don't really know how to eat mussels, so I may end up avoiding that. But the grits and the cheese and the shrimp, bro. That looks really good. I'll have to figure out a way if I can try one of these mussels, I don't know. I'll give it a whirl. I'll let you know how it goes. Let's dig in. That <clears throat> was incredible. Oh yeah. So dang good. But I did chicken out. I need the mushrooms. See. I was too scared. And since I'm working the next four days in a row, three more days in a row. I didn't want to chance anything. It's not sitting well on my stomach, so I'll try them another time. I promise. I will. And then I chickened out on two of the shrimps because those things are huge and there was a bunch of them in there. But overall, very, very good. The grits are obviously the best part. The grits and the cheese is very nice. So I get to go to bed with a very full belly tonight, which I'm excited about. Um, tomorrow is a very short day. We do a short flight to Charlotte. We do have a two hour sit there, but then we just go to Wilmington and back. So like in the back, we don't even do a full service, not one time, all day. And then up front, it'll be pretty easy. Um, I only have a handful of people, but it's only a, a quick drink and um, I offer them like a little deal of snacks. So it's no biggie there. Um, so yeah, nice easy day tomorrow. Cool little two day trip. So, I'm liking it. And I'm gonna call it there tonight. I'm gonna sip on my Dr. Pepper and then I'm gonna pass out. So I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy uh, Saturday, I think. Um, we, I got woken up this morning by the sun coming out of the window. It was very bright, straight into my face. 
so that was not fun. Um, but uh, woke up, watched some shows, relaxed for a bit. Now I'm ready. We're off to work. Um, one thing I saw on YouTube this morning was um, hashtag Team Trees. Uh, it's pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of YouTubers that got together, and every dollar that you donate is um, going to go towards a tree being planted. It was sponsored by the Arbor Day Foundation. So if you're interested, look up hashtag Team Trees or um, look up Mr. Beast's channel because uh, that's where it's all going down. So it's pretty cool. Um, the goal is to raise $20 million by 2020, uh, which is only like 60 something days away. So get on board. Made it home, finally. I'll tell you about the mess from our last two flights uh, here in just a minute. But look, we lucked out. Nobody around Veronica. It's pretty nice. I'll take it. Ugh, I am pooped. I am absolutely beat. I wish I had a day off but I have another two-day trip starting tomorrow. So I'm gonna go home and get some sleep. Uh, once I get home and get settled, I'll tell y'all about the turn. Oh, so today flew in from Raleigh to Charlotte. Perfect, got in early, it's great. Went and chilled for a little bit. We had like a two hour sit. So I just got to hang out, sit down, rest my legs for a little bit, you know, watch a video or two, whatever. And just chill. Get to the plane, check our equipment, make sure catering was there, everything's good to go. And then like two minutes before we were scheduled to start boarding, um, the passengers started just, they just started getting on board. And uh, normally the agent will come down and check with us before we start the boarding process, just in case anything's going on. Um, and they failed to do that this time. And I really wish they hadn't because um, our pilots were not present yet. And as you should probably know, they have all sorts of responsibilities that they're supposed to check on as well. Like A, making sure the airplane isn't broken. Um, and like, you know, all this other stuff that they do just to make sure they're good to go. And they have to plug in the flight plan and, you know, they're, all their duties and stuff. So they are supposed to be there when we are, usually. So we get all the way boarded up. Everybody on the plane that's supposed to be there is present. And we still don't have any pilots. So I hop on the phone. I call the agent. I'm like, hey... We're boarded, but we still don't have any pilots. Do you have any idea what's going on? And they said, well, your first officer's here, but the pilot called out fatigued, meaning, you know, for whatever circumstances, he was, he felt that he was too tired to uh, work that flight. So whether he had worked too many flights that day or what, whatnot, like this is just a, an FAA regulation. You don't want your, your pilot falling asleep at the wheel, right? Um, so they have that ability to call out fatigued. Um, and so we are like, okay, well, what do we do? So the agent said, well, let's give it about 15 minutes and see where we're at from there. So we're like, okay. So we wait around for 15 minutes. I'm working up front. So in the meantime, I'm pouring drinks for my first class people, making sure they're comfortable and taken care of. But in the back, they're kind of just screwed, right? <laughs> um, so we wait our 15 minutes, I call the agent back, hey, it's been 15 minutes, uh, do we have an update yet? And she's like, good grief, you're worse than our passengers. And I was like, yep, you're right. <laughs> My job is to give an announcement every 15 minutes, and it's your job to keep me informed on what I'm supposed to tell them. So we, uh, she said basically there's no news. We had a new captain listed on our paperwork, um, but that was about it. 
So I was like, okay. So I made an announcement to the passengers and just said, hey, like, I don't have all the answers yet, but I just want to let you know, you know, uh, I just wanted to give you the information that I do have. We have another pilot listed for it. No idea if he is here or not, or what his ETA is just yet. Uh, but as soon as I find out, I promise I will let you know. I also went ahead and let them know that once they get there, they have all their checklists and things to go through. So uh, it might be a little bit. So uh, then about five, 10 minutes later, the agent came back down and said, hey, we don't know uh, if they called him from home or what, we have no idea. And so we're gonna go ahead and let the passengers deplane and then we'll put them back on board. So she made that announcement. People started gathering their things, they start leaving. About probably 20 or so people get off the plane. Um, and then a bunch of them start turning around and coming right back and they're like, oh, they told us to come back. And we're like, what? And so apparently the pilot had gotten there like as soon as she made the announcement to let everybody go basically. So they turned around, came right back on board and then it still took about 30 minutes uh, like it normally does for them to go through all their checks, make sure the airplane is okay and whatnot, and thank the Lord that it was okay. It was a good airplane, there was no issues, uh, everything was, was all tip-top shape and ready to go. So that was the, the one good thing about that whole situation is that there wasn't an extra delay. Because I, I, I don't know what I would have done or how I would have handled it if all of that had gone down and then the pilot finally gets there and goes through his checklist and says, hey, turns out we have a broken airplane and we can't go anyways. So I'm just super grateful that that did not happen because uh, people would have been pissed and they would have had a right to be. So it worked out. So alas, the trip is over. I'm going to go get some sleep and we do it all again tomorrow. Um, it's another two day trip. Uh, I don't remember what we're doing or whatever. I'll tell you all about it in the next video, I'm sure. But for now, I'm going to sign off. Wish you all adieu. And I'll see you in the next one. Good night, guys.